Lieutenant Tom Coughlin, who worked under Parcells with the Giants, trying to go in his second year. Drew Bledsoe, Mark Brunel, the leading contestants. Jaguars first possession, third and 15. They try to contain Brunel. Brunel scrambles. Chris Slade trips him up from behind, short of the first down. Jacksonville will punt. Mike Bartram snap is high. Brian Barker tries to scramble. It's down at the five. Larry Wiggum, Tommy. Yeah, Brian Barker took the high snap, but he has to at least attempt to get this ball up. I think he felt like he was getting more pressure than he actually was. New England would capitalize. Curtis Martin plows in from a yard out, just 226 into the game, and the Patriots lead 7-0. Parcells trying to mix things up a little bit on the Pats' next drive. First and 10 from the 19, Bledsoe picked off by Aaron Beasley. Off the deflection, Jacksonville takes over at their own 22-yard line. Jaguars would get it going, and they would get it going by Mark Brunel. Only four of the quarterbacks have thrown for more yards in a season than Brunel did. He finds Jimmy Smith, 23-yard gain. Third and eight, Brunel again looking for Pete Mitchell. First down in Patriots territory. Then it's Brunel looking for Mitchell again. Eight yards, Brunel with the time to throw, Joe. He had some pretty good time all day, and that's because Tony Paselli did a darn good job on Willie McGinnis most of the day. Willie chased him around a little bit, but Willie's not going to take much from Paselli. Third and three from the Pats 15. Chris Slade pressures Brunel into a bad throw. Jags would settle for a field goal. It was 7-3. Still 7-3. Pats punting. Chris Hudson fields it, fumbles. New England gets the ball at the Jags 20-yard line following the fumble. And they're in business. That would set up a 29-yard field goal. Adam Vindieri and the lights went out. A blown transformer at the stadium caused referee Jerry Markreich to stop the game for 12 minutes. But that could not postpone the inevitable. Vidieri, 29-yard field goal, 10-3 pass. 30 seconds to go in the first half. Parcells wants to go for it. Fourth and three. Jacksonville 45. Bledsoe hits Ben Coates. First down. Time winding down. Second and 11. Bledsoe. Sean Jefferson for 38 yards. That would set up another field goal. 13-3 pass at halftime. Third quarter, Natron Means, who had left the game with a sore ankle, was back. He picks up nine. Fourth and inches at New England's 30. Brunel, the quarterback sneak, not even close. Ted Johnson, the big surge. Three plays later, Bledsoe fumbles, and the Patriots lose the ball. Eddie Robinson recovers. Brunel, scrambling for the first down, leaps over Scooter Magruder to pick up the first down, Tommy. Yeah, great presence of mind by Brunel as he leaps over Magruder right there, and that's the way go get a first down. That would set up a 27-yard field goal for Jacksonville. 13-6, Pats. Bledsoe back to pass. Hit by Don Davey. Fumbles. Patriots maintain possession. Vinieri, 46-yard field goal. And they still can't put Jacksonville away. 13-6. 8.42 to go. Brunel. Keenan McCardle to the Patriots' 47-yard line. Brunel. Pete Mitchell to the Patriots' 33. Two plays later, Brunel. The blitz is on. Finds McCardle for eight yards, but on the play, Brunel cut his throwing hand on a helmet. That set up second and goal from the five. Brunel, and he did not see Willie Clay. The touchback, Patriots ball at the 20. Brunel knows time is slipping away. Patriots ball third and six. Bledsoe incomplete to Keith Byers. And the Jaguars would get the ball back. One last chance, 2.36 to go. The draw play, James Stewart right into the arms of Otis Smith. And Otis, my man, is gone. 47 yards for the score, 20 to six New England. Stewart, stunned. Got a little more playing time with Means hurt. He can only watch and wonder. Tom Coughlin sees the end of the season. Bill Parcells, this is the 10 year anniversary of the Gatorade dump, made popular by Bill's former team, the Giants. Drew Bledsoe, going to the Super Bowl, I think they want some cheese. Whether they want them or not, they're going to get them. The home team 8-2 in the playoffs in 1990.